At least 35 states have taken away dine-in options for restaurants, and more are expected as the coronavirus spreads. The economic impact is severe, but in these tough times, helping hands are revealing the best of humanity. Here's Jamie Yukas. At the Hope Breakfast Bar in St. Paul, Minnesota. You got the pork belly biscuit. Does it Chef sound? Brian Ingram has traded his spatula for his iPhone, overloaded with an inbox full of requests. The second I posted, everybody was, how can I help? Can I come volunteer? Do you think people right now need something? to give back to yeah i think people need hope right now last weekend ingram posted an offer on instagram free meals to families quarantined or tied on cash before the governor of minnesota closed restaurants for business customers came in to show their support they spread happiness with their food and so what better way to do that than you know helping those that actually need it but since monday only employees and volunteers are inside packaging meals they've transitioned to a community kitchen demand is so great they're boxing up and serving close to 500 meals a day i've always heard that restaurants have such a thin margin <laughs> we do i get it all the time how can you afford to do it and, and our vision is how can we afford not to do it volunteer drivers like mick white and his son McAllister drop meals at homes there's a need in this community we're delivering hope to these people people like chantelle mcgee worried about making ends meet for her family from our hearts, um, she made that, my daughter. Thank you. And my other daughter did this. We just need more people like you in the world. They put angels in here. Do you feel like an angel? I mean, it's hard, right? Like, the more you give, the more it comes back. And we're just doing what we can to help. And even that help has gone through transition. No more contact with those they're serving. And while the restaurant isn't making money now, the donations are enough to keep it going. I've been asked a hundred times today, how long will you do it? How long will you go on it? So we either run out of money and we go bankrupt or the pandemic ends. We're living help. Because there's always still hope to serve. Jamie Yukis, CBS News, St. Paul, Minnesota.